All right, what is poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So we're about to get into this video about the detail. This one is a look inside Michael Jackson's impressive closet. Is this like his closet with his like casual stuff or is this like his costume closet? Because I know the costume closet is probably sick, like full of like bright and shiny, glittery, crazy gold plated pants and stuff, but yeah. We're just gonna hop straight into this video, so without further ado, guys, let's go. Renowned the world over as a visionary both musically and in dance, many may not know, but wouldn't be too surprised that Michael Jackson also aspired to be just as trailblazing in his style, stating, quote, if fashion says it's forbidden, I'm going to do it. Mm. Rather than drape himself in the latest runway fashions, he largely commissioned his wardrobe from personal costume makers. Michael Bush wrote in his book, The King of Style, dressing Michael Jackson, who with his partner Dennis Tompkins served as personal designers to the King of Pop for over 25 years. Michael's concept was, I want the fashion designers in the world, the big conglomerates, I want them to copy me. I don't want to wear what's out there. I want to push my individuality. My look And people are me. copying you, my love. Incorporating so very both day. strength as well as whimsy, Michael's Shit. magnificent military silhouettes covered in bullion embroideries, buckles, armor, and glistening rhinestone became his signature. Mm. So here is your chance to get a glimpse inside Michael Jackson's impressive closet as we reveal the secrets behind creating some of the King Ooh, of Pop's like most this. regal of rock star looks, uh, as remembered by his longtime jacket? fashion collaborator, Michael Bush, who himself coined Michael Jackson's definitive look as Liberace Goes to War. On that note, we'd like to give a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this week's video. Raid Shadow Legends has millions of players. I'm not just here to play Raid Shadow Legends, bro. Japan, Samurai, yeah. Nuchi. I think this yeah. releasing a reward. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Good luck. All its eventual that. forms came out of Jackson's fascination with Disney fairy tales. The fantasy of a knight in shining armor with a form-fitting uniform. Quote, a uniform commands attention. Michael stated to Bush, broadening MJ's shoulders with the military style along with enhancing his narrow waist. It really pleased his female fans, Ooh, Bush told Rolling Stone. Quote, who doesn't love a man in a uniform? It was about that, creating the sexual mystique. But Michael made it his own by pushing the envelope. Rebelling against the establishment the uniform is supposed to represent with all those badges and making it rock and roll. One of his favorite military jackets was the one he wore to visit the White House in 1990. It was black with a red armband and incorporated heavy braiding. After President Bush Sr. presented him with the Entertainer of the Decade honor, Michael thought he'd treat himself. He showed his dressmakers a picture of the Queen's Imperial State Crown, and off they went to the Tower of London to study the real deal. Quote, Michael would come out of European museums inspired to wear the antique costumes that were up on exhibit, Bush hmm. said. Quote, for Michael's costumes, Dennis and I studied monarchs and European military history, taking particular notice of one of the most notorious kings, oh. King Henry VIII of England. Tompkins taught himself how to solder and sandblast metal and over six yeah. weeks created a sterling now silver crown encrusted from. with costume stones and pearls. In place of the second star of Africa, which sits at the center of the imperial state crown, Tompkins sandblasted an imitation diamond with the iconic image of Michael's dancing feet. He never wore the crown out, but years later, his children asked Bush and Tompkins to make a regal robe for their dad to wear on Father's Day. And so, alongside the throne that stood in his ensuite bedroom in Neverland, the King of Pop's ceremonial dress was complete. Ooh. Early on, Bush worked out the four F's in dressing Michael Jackson. Fit, function, fun, and first. The last one was not as self-explanatory as the former three, but refers to the desire to improve and innovate, but never repeat the same designs. However, on stage, the most important F was function. As mm -hmm. Michael Bush told Rolling Stone, quote, they had to be like his second skin, mm. wearable art accentuating both his style of dancing and the beat of the music. The Florsheim's loafered shoes held an almost superstitious pull as they were what Michael Jackson first learned to dance in. Bush recounts the time when he unwisely tried polishing a pair of Jackson's shoes, 
He described the startling anger Jackson exhibited as he scolded him for potentially ruining the footwear's stage readiness. Quote, The leather is worn the way I like it, and if you coat them in polish, the shoes will slip. Jackson explained, making it clear that his harsh reaction was due to practical concerns. Quote, If I fall and twist an ankle, we are all out of a job. In 1985, when filming Captain EO, Michael complained that he couldn't dance at his best in the shoes provided as part of his sci-fi costume, but his go-to loafers weren't appropriate for the film's futuristic premise. As a solution, the soles were cut out of the high-top Reeboks Jackson was originally meant to wear so the floor times could be worn without being seen. Similar alterations had to be made to Jackson's attire when filming the video for Dirty Diana. As Bush shared that originally MJ had on a jacket that just wasn't working with the wind machine. The jacket was too heavy and didn't flow during rehearsal. Then looked at Bush spying the white shirt he was wearing, which his partner Dennis Tompkins had made for him. The shirt was made of fabric so fine that it fluttered and billowed from the lightest gust of wind. Therefore, the Dirty Diana white shirt was born. <laughs> Off the back of Bush and onto the stage with Michael Jackson. When designing his stage outfits, Jackson followed a look-but-can't-touch mentality. Quote, he would often say that if the guy sitting in the front row was wearing what he was wearing, then he'd stop being the entertainer. Not too many of his fans were able to afford the custom-made shin guards played with 18-karat gold he wore during his 1996 history tour. The leg armor Jackson wore was inspired by baseball being considered America's favorite pastime. Quote, why do only baseball players get to wear shin guards? Jackson once asked Bush, Quote, I'm going to wear them. The equipment what? also served to protect Jackson's <laughs> knees and shins from his own athletic drills during his aerodynamic dance routines. Although what? they were hoping to create the next glove, as claimed by Bush, the general public never regarded them as iconic as Jackson's glove or red leather jacket. The thriller jacket Michael Bush created for the Bad Tour in 1988 contained 11,000 light bulbs that would light up remotely and pulsate to the beat of the song. Quote, it took three engineers to wire the electrical jacket so it would light up and one com I did not notice how that jacket looked up close. With a remote control. Because there was no way Michael would touch his jacket to turn it on. That's not magic. That's flipping a switch. Oh. For Beat It, there were different versions of his iconic oh, jacket so over the, the years. Stage jacket? Including an incredible eel skin version and one made of not plastic, which in reality was too the hot for MJ again. at the end of the night because it didn't breathe at all when he danced. Michael Bush has since described what a state the jackets would be in after a performance. Quote, <laughs> It was really beat, so to speak. Michael gave his beaded jackets a whipping on stage, taking them off and slamming them to the stage and stomping on them as he danced in his performance. After each show, he would say to Bush, You'll need to fix my zippers tonight. Bush would stay up <laughs> many late nights and early mornings painstakingly repairing the zippers, which took the beating on stage restoring them for the next night's show. Quote, Man. That way, everyone received the same high-quality performance. That was how Michael Jackson always performed, giving his very best to every show and every audience. He was putting in that work. <laughs> Quote, This was Michael's favorite thing he ever wore. Bush said, The white pearl jacket he wore when Sister mm. Janet presented him with the Grammy Legend Award in 1993 which was a redesigned version of the jacket he wore when he accompanied Madonna to the Oscars in 1991. I didn't even notice that jacket when I first watched that video. Michael Bush shared his very painful experience when he dressed Michael for the very last time, for his burial. Quote, Who else could do it? I did it for my friend. I had to be the one to dress him for the last time. However, Michael Jackson's favorite pearl jacket could not be found. Quote, oh. I have no idea. Michael probably gave it away to a fan. Bush speculated, so he and Dennis set to work crafting a new one. Bush stated that Michael Jackson's favorite Disney character was not in fact Peter Pan, but Tinkerbell, because that is where the magic started. It was Tinkerbell's magic dust that made it all happen. He would show up in designers' rooms and say, Bush, dust me. So Dennis Tompkins and Michael Bush dusted MJ just as he would have wished by creating something very special for Michael, sewing it into his very last favorite pearl jacket. A beautiful shining crystal rhinestone Tinkerbell sewn inside the left side jacket, 
As Bush dressed Michael Jackson for that one last time, he carefully closed Michael's jacket over his chest, where Tinkerbell and her magic dust could now lay directly over his heart for forevermore. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, bro. I really like the Thriller jacket a lot, because that jacket is so iconic. <clears throat> With that white pearl one. And I just love white. I love that jacket. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.